Yo, what's poppin'? So today I wanted to talk about my favorite scene from One Punch Man Season 2. And that would have to be the scene where Suryu is about to get killed by the awakened Bakuzan. Alright, so let me run you up to speed real quick. Saitama is in a martial arts tournament and there's a new character introduced. Suryu, who is looking like he's nice as fuck with that martial arts shit. Both beat up the competition and ended up facing each other to decide the winner of the tournament. And as you would expect, Saitama don't even gotta try. But it's pretty obvious that Suryu would be a worthy opponent for someone who isn't as broken as Saitama. In their dialogue, Suryu talks about how he views the word hero as just some stupid title. Suryu really just cares about having fun, aka hopping into some pussy, you know what I'm saying? And he realizes just how strong he is compared to the quote unquote real heroes. Saitama proceeds to embarrass the fuck out of Suryu. And after getting embarrassed, Suryu tries hard as fuck, talk about a sweat. And Saitama still beats him, which results in one of the funniest scenes in the show. Like bro, Saitama really just busted some ass on this man to send him flying. Like shit, Loki, Saitama kind of packing in the back, you know what I'm saying? Between you and me, you know what I'm saying? But then some bad boys from the Monster Association show up, forcing everyone to eat demon cells to turn them into monsters, and if they don't, they get killed. Some people eat them and get strong as fuck, but Suryu refuses and faces off against the big boy Gogetsu, who was previously built up to be really strong, and he is. This is where the show starts getting pretty dark. Suryu gives everything he has, but still can't even make Gogetsu flinch. Meanwhile, Gogetsu really puts Suryu in his place with some nasty blows. Suryu cries out for help, and someone he easily beat in a previous match decides to eat the demon cells instead of helping him, but has a whale tummy ache and can't handle it and falls down. Suryu is on his last legs, but then the pro heroes show up and decide to come to his aid. This gives Suryu the chance to run away, and of course, you know, he's a bitch and he takes it and ditches the heroes. However, the newly awakened Bakuzan, you know, the pussy that fell over earlier, said fuck no, and proceeds to block Suryu's path and, like, beat the shit out of him. And Bakuzan really makes him suffer due to how arrogant and cocky Suryu was in their previous fight, you know, before Bakuzan had, you know, the fucking steroids on his side and shit. And this is finally the scene I've been wanting to talk about. Things get really dark here. The show really isn't afraid to show just how far Suryu is falling. The show does its best to make the viewer feel uncomfortable, even sorry for Suryu. The show also reminds the viewer of what Suryu had before all this shit happened. You know, youth, talent, popularity, women, aka pussy, and freedom. You know, it really just shows, you know, how far he's fallen. You know, it's just, it's, it's some dark shit. As he's being tortured, he's so out of options that he screams out for help for anyone to help him, anyone. Siri becomes a man that would do anything for a hero and he realizes just what it's like to truly rely on one. Saitama appears and proceeds to save Suryu in the most Saitama way possible, aka, you know, fuck up the opponent, and, uh, and ain't got, ain't gotta try, you know, with the typical shit, you know, just fucking like, oh, code that bitch real quick, you know, the usual Saitama shit. This, of course, moves Suryu, as he now realizes just how important heroes are. After all this, Suryu warns Saitama of the outside, as he is truly grateful for him, and doesn't want to see him get hurt. Suryu now knows what a true hero is like, doesn't want Saitama to get hurt, you know what I'm saying, what little bromance going on, but, you know, Saitama as usual you know goes outside beats some ass and comes back and you know just just got Suryu falling in love with him real quick but yeah the quote-unquote scene i'm talking about ends with Suryu asking saitama you know can i be a hero you know what i'm saying and you know this show has to sprinkle in some funny shit saitama hits him with that i don't know he has to be his disciples saitama's like fuck no you're washed i don't want you on my team you know what i'm saying i already got enough washed ass people on my team no, nah, shout out to Genos. But no, nah, the ending of this scene really did make me laugh out loud. This was funny. But bro, I know this wasn't a scene per se, but I think you catch my drift and what I'm talking about. In this scene, Suryu got so much development in such a short amount of time. There were some kick-ass battles and some humor at the end to wrap it all up in a nice little bow, you know what I'm saying? I love this scene so much and i really am excited to see how the show takes Suryu as a character but yeah one thing i really loved about this scene is it it really did show just how important a hero can be when you need one all right bro this man Suryu was fucked up like this like this show got dark bro and i was like damn bro like i, I kind of felt you know from his perspective like bro i just need a hero i need a hero you know what i'm saying i also really liked how there was a lot of development in a very short amount of time like Suryu really grew you know, in this short span of actions from like this cocky asshole to this dude who wants Saitama's cock, you know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck, pause. But not for real, this dude really did grow, you know, he, he's not that arrogant little kid he was anymore, you know what I'm saying? He got respect for the heroes. Another thing I really liked about this scene is I really did not know what was gonna happen throughout it. Like, I thought Suryu was definitely gonna eat the monster cell, 
But he said, fuck no, threw it at Gogetsu and boxed with him. Like, that was crazy. And then when the show was getting so dark, it got to the point to where I wasn't sure Saitama was going to show up. Like, I really thought for a second that Siryu was going to get killed, you know, for just being an asshole. And, I mean, maybe some people don't think that. Maybe you're like, nah, it was obvious that Saitama was going to show up. But for me, bro, like, the show was getting dark and i was like bro like are we gonna get some berserk action going like this shit about to get messed up but yeah those are my thoughts on one of my favorite scenes from one punch man season two you know a lot of shit went down i really messed with it and i'm excited to see where they take siryu you know shout out to saitama for saving lives y'all you know, kicking ass but yeah thanks for watching this video deuces